build your funnel of schools, right, where you can look at information on a, a large number of schools. Uh, a great starting place is the College Board, right? The College Board website has a College Finder on there. Uh, another good one, Princeton Review, right? The Review, and they have the Counselor-O-Matic, uh, which will tell you, you know, if schools are a good match and if they think it's a reach, possible safety. Um, FastWeb is a, a source of information on the private scholarships. One thing about that is a lot of the private scholarships, private scholarships are really a small piece of overall college funding, right? And a lot of these national scholarships will get thousands and thousands of applications for one scholarship. Um, and so while it, it's great, the, the more targeted a scholarship is, probably the better chance you have. So if it's a niche scholarship, it's worth it to apply. But otherwise, you really should focus on local scholarships. I'm the, the chair of the Devon Rotary Scholarship Committee, and we give out $22,000 a year in scholarships to Milford residents or students attending Milford schools. And so, you know, there are 13 to 14 scholarships. You know, students from law are eligible for almost every one we have, except a few that are designated for flat students. Um, Milford Chamber of Commerce, they give out like 26 scholarships, I believe. Okay, and these are scholarships with one application you can be considered for a number. And it's about a one in four chance versus a one in, you know, 5,000. You know, I was involved with one scholarship. We had 70,000 applications in one month for one scholarship. So a one in 70,000 chance, you might as well buy a lottery ticket. At least then it would pay for all four years instead of $1,000 towards, you know, towards the education. Um, some of the books, you know, there are a lot of good books on the process. And one that sounds similar to what you had mentioned, Accepted, is uh, The Gatekeepers where uh, Jock Steinberg, who has a, a blog on uh, the New York Times, which is pretty good on the admissions process, called The Choice. But uh, his book, The Gatekeepers, followed five students through the admissions process and the admissions officers at Wesleyan. So it's unique in that you get both perspectives if you want to understand how the process works. Um, you know, those types of books, another good one is A is for Admission by Michelle Hernandez. But if you're looking at the guidebooks, how many of the people whose uh, children are seniors have purchased those the, the guidebooks, like the Peterson's Guide, the, the College Board, these large books, which this big by this big, large, right, larger than the Bible. Almost all the information now is on their website. So it, it's not as necessary to purchase those books. Um, a lot of times the people who purchase the books, you go to the back pages and they have these two-page write-ups on the schools, and you assume that it's unbiased information. It's actually been submitted by the marketing departments at the schools, and they pay to have that included in there. And so it's, you know, it's not unbiased information, right? It's more marketing. Um, a great list-building book is uh, a book called Ruggs, Ruggs Recommendations on the Colleges. He, what he does is he recommends colleges based on the strength of the major. And the only problem with that is the average student is going to change his or her major twice when they get to college. And so you want to make sure there are enough options if, if you're choosing a school based on the major, that enough of their other choices are there as well. Um, you know, of the big books, those, the starting books, you have Rug, I'm not Rug, I'm sorry, you have the Peterson's Guide, College Board. Um, then you have the Insider's Guides, which are books that are about maybe 300 to 400 schools, or 460, whatever it is, schools. Um, and those are a little more um, objective, right? They'll either have a team of editors or they send out surveys to the colleges. Um, those are books like the Fisk's Guide to the Colleges, Yale Daily News Insider's Guide, and then Princeton Review has one, and it, it usually changes. There's a new best college every year. I think it's like the best 461 colleges now, but the number creeps up a little bit every year. Um, and that's a great way, you know, you start with your list, and then you just have to narrow it down, right? And so you go to the school's websites, it, and that's really, you know, the admissions, but then also looking at what's of interest to the student. If they want to run track, looking at the track team, what are the times? Can I run for this school, right? Would I be able to make the team? They're interested in, in the newspaper. You know, looking at the, reading the newspaper online. Or if they're interested in theater and drama, but they don't want to be a major, look and see are the productions. Are they only open to majors? Are they open to all, you know, to all students? If they enjoyed it in high school, they're going to enjoy it in college, right? And college is very different in that most students, when you start high school, they have a support network. They're still at home, or, you know, they have some, even if they go to a high school that maybe not all of their friends are going to, when they come home, all of their friends are still around them. When you go to college, especially if you go away to college, it's the first time a student may be completely starting over, 
right? And so they may not know anyone else there. They may be one or two other people from their high school, but there's no guarantee they were friends with them, right? And so it's really starting over. So what, a great way when you get there is to do things you enjoyed in high school. That, that's a way to meet people that have the same interests as you and help you with your support network, right? And when I started, you know, running college, and all of a sudden you had the upperclassmen to help you with your schedule, to help you, um, you know, give you advice on what to expect. Go to the next.